who knows the Charizard matchup? Yeah, basically no one. Only the people who live in the in the same city as a uh, Fire does. Also, just wanted to add big props for uh, Fire, who finished second yesterday in teams with yeah. Neath. So definitely, definitely a player, a player to look forward. Yeah, incredible performance actually, because uh, I know his team wasn't uh, very uh, like they didn't get to train before that. So let's see if today, after all the training they do in singles every day, these players can go in forward in winners bracket. Already a lot of pressure, pressure coming from Fire, trying to corner uh, Felker at the edge. Yeah, if I can take him sometimes, take a bomb and uh, already get a catch. But nice grab and freely with that side B, using nice the super armor, but finding that forward smash, taking the control right now. Yeah, with already two standing grab, two grabs and uh, one forward smash. Felker is showing that he's very proficient at handling the mid-range uh, close game, close-up game. Definitely isn't looking to get jabbed by Karizard. Yeah, that was a really nice GI to get just behind him. I, I feel like you're always playing on the edge also with his uh, tether and stuff. Okay. Not being as, as reliant on projectile as I was expecting. Trying to buy himself some space. There it is, the boomerang is out. I love how, how Fire just tried to... Oh, nice fair, but with the bomb will explode probably. Yeah, notable jump, but he will pick up another bomb. Yeah, nice one, nice one. Just uh, spam the AB button, knew that even if he wasn't going to be able to catch the edge, the AB would hit Charizard. Okay, oh, not even getting hit by the flame. Okay, I love the spacing of Felker. Oh, he's trying to just land behind. Oh, not this time, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, he was really, really proficient with cross-ups, but uh, that one time he used the neutral air and just got shield up. Mm. Nice shield on that top smash right after. He saw that back here, he saw him landing, was like, nope. Very close, too, because it was, again, a cross-up from Felker, and uh, that up smash is actually rather terrible to hint uh, targets behind him. It often, often misses, but that one time it did work. Try to go for it, yeah, read the low recovery, but Falker just had enough options to avoid it. Yeah, that was a nice awareness by Falker. Oh, no, fortunately the bomb, oh, but still pushing it. him, and then that's gonna be the stock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice by fire, nice timing. And even with all the, some, the new options that uh, Link has in this game to recover, the bomb's exploding in like three seconds, and a very nice tether grab to grab the, the ledge, much better than in Brawl. He still gets gimped by a player who knows what he's doing. And nice bomb drop to forward there, killing at like 120, very early on a super heavyweight. Yeah, Fire was definitely get caught by surprise and unfortunately made a terrible day on the fair. And just there we saw the, the very cute new new technology that Fire has been developing, using a rock smash at the edge uh, to try and get the meaty heat of the small uh, rock shot to connect it into a true combo with Fair. And that's oh. it, the DI in. I think with this DI it's a 50-50, because um, if you throw out a hitbox you still uh, risk uh, getting a trade with a Zard pair, while on GI out, uh, well, it's basically the same thing, but uh, you really see it coming and after an air dodge uh, you can't get trapped anymore, just go to the edge. So yeah, a rather uh, precarious situation. And we can hear the counter pick, Falkers uh, deciding to switch characters. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'll be honest, like, at the beginning of the match, like, Felker was really patient, like, forced a lot uh, Fire to jump, but at some point, he gets more into the attack, more rush down, more jump to a hit and stuff, mm -hmm. and, and Fire just had to stay on the ground, and he get the control out of it. Yeah, so he, he began shield grabbing options, and then after that cornered him at the edge, and it was done. Exactly. So we'll see what will happen with that Samus. First time actually I see the Felker Samus. Yeah, he, it is uh, his secondary and uh, actually that's a character he uses in doubles. And it's definitely a... a, a oh wow! Red the air dodge, but Samus being just heavy enough to survive that. Very close though. Okay. That might be it. I don't think he touched the ground. No, he didn't. But okay. still, still. This is bad. Oh, oh wow. of course! Second time you take the edge. No, man, no, man. I won't let that happen. Forward smash right away. Very nice knowing that a forward smash would hit below the ledge. So he didn't even try to uh, uh, have to get too close with down smash or anything. Have smash just lunge and save forward. Okay, nice get up attack. Just push the Charizard just a bit far away to not get counter attack after it. Nice on Felker, reading the, uh, the double jump from fire. 
Yeah, he, he just has so much trouble in neutral game. Yeah. He finds some good movement, as you can tell, like, Fire might not know everything, but, yeah, and for nearly those Ooh, kind of moments. he moment. saved him. Yeah. I, I think he definitely saved him, that, uh, it, because uh, as Oronero, uh, my fellow uh, Italian commentator, told me yesterday, if you, you can easily hit uh, Tether recoveries on the way up, because they have absolutely no invincibility. So it's not even a true frame, and if you hit them uh, after they use their double jump, but before they grab the edge, uh, they don't get the double jump back. So it's a terrible situation. The flames are definitely safe failure there. <laughs> the read. Fortunately for Felker, made a claim with another move. The fair was really close. Felker back on the stage, but I had to shield. But nice forward tilt. Yeah, keeping his cool, not rolling into anything. Zard's shield so sl so small. After that uh, charge shot, back a rolling behind. Oh, oh, that up! Oh, no! wow! Fortunately, wanted to land on that platform, but the platform just went a bit far away, and that was it. Oh. Yeah, and and Felker was still like, if he was able to take a fire stock, he would have uh, a bit of person, but still not quite ready to die to a zero person. Zod, and nice, uh, nice charge shot, finishing fire's landing. After all, when you don't have jumps anymore, basically you have to air dodge to the ground or use a. Uh, Super armor, very nice charge shot again to defend himself. He starts starting to find oh! his. Oh! Not yeah. enough, unfortunately, but that was really nice. Yeah, I'm surprised it actually nearly killed. He didn't have uh, that much rage. The spike is actually more powerful than I thought. Nice. A nice using of the double hit of the down smash to get less lag on the shield and reacting afterwards. And you can see Falcos this time taking his time using the tether recovery, not trying to get hit by the flamethrower. And again, the GI in on the down throw. Mike doesn't know, unfortunately. It's not like by dying out you avoid all potential follow-ups, but you definitely wouldn't die to a fair uh, at the middle of the stage. Nice! Yeah, again, he, he's definitely reading Fire's attempt uh, in the ground uh, movement to, to catch him rolling or something, but other than that, he has so much trouble. Oh, not this time, not this time! Yeah, the G I don't think the DI was optimal. Like, the DI itself, uh, in terms of angle, was decent, um, but I'm not sure if he held down, which definitely was necessary, because it's got this specific angle, which you can both DI and um, uh, LSI, the Smash 4 specific tech, where you hold down to reduce the knockback. It kind of butchers uh, Charizard's down throw as a, uh, up throw as a kill move, but it was enough in this case. So Fire taking it quite convincingly. Yeah. Uh, Felker's uh, counter pick in the end not really working out.